Today we're taking a look at 19 different sections that are all extremely powerful and you can steal all of these for your own designs. Now it took me weeks to create and design my own component library, but today I wanna to show you guys 19 of these amazing screenshots and designs so you have them for reference for your own projects. Let's get into it. Now the first few sections that we're gonna take a look at have this sort of style to it. We have text in the middle usually with some text surrounding it. And also in this case, we have apps that are floating around it. Now in this case, what the section is trying to accomplish is show that this sort of method of working is very, very chaotic. And instead they give you their own platform, which is much more calm. So this is a great way of showing that kind of chaos that we see here. But we also see this in an old Webflow website. Here we have this section where we see all these different things that are available to us if we use their service. So for example, they try to alert the fact that you can use many different users, you can text, you can have different uh, users here, different elements, different embeds, you have this join this button. So it's kind of showing the exact opposite of this section. So you can use it for multiple different ways. So next up, we have this newer version of a Webflow section where we have text on the left, some buttons that are trying to get us to start building or explore different APIs. And here it's a great way of adding these different applications to your site. So it's showing us, look at all the different ways that we can do this. And we even have some blurred apps on the background. So we see that this goes even further than what they're showing us here. It's so many more options. And lastly, we also have this Zapier option. Where we have all the different ways that you can add these apps to Zapier. But as you can see, they all have pretty much the same kind of style. Now I did my best here to recreate these and this is gonna be uploaded to the component library pretty soon. So make sure they check that out on the premium features. Now next up is from the same exact site that we saw in the first section, but this is gonna be with Bento sites. Now Bento has been taking over the world by absolute storm. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Bento, it's kind of this style that is used with Bento lunchboxes in Japan. But this kind of style has been very, very popular recently. Now I tried my best to recreate this using the Tilebit components. So this is gonna be available to copy as well. But as we can see with the Bento style, the really important thing is having these images that are very impactful and having very simple images that can explain a lot. Like in this case, we have two people talking here. We have a type of command box. We have this little pop-up window and then design team. So these are very simple designs, but they're creating a lot of value for that Bento box. So next up is gonna be this massive hero image that has a big display text on one of the sides. So we're not trying to center it like we have before here. We're trying to put it off to one side on the bottom right hand corner. And that way our eyes are focused to the image itself. Now this is great when you have a video in the background, maybe a really powerful image. In this case, it was a video. And we also have this side text here. This is what that would look like with the component library. So this is gonna be available as well. But here we can see that if we have this massive display text, it needs to be something really important. It needs to grab that attention. And in this case, we are meant to amuse. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, scroll and you might find out. Next up is gonna be this type of section. Now this has been pretty popular recently where we have these abstract shapes that make up that hero header. So what we did here to recreate this type of effect is just create a mask with the shape that we want and have the image be inside of that mask. So it's really simple to create this effect. So in this case, we have the section that's taking our entire attention and it's bringing it to the middle of that image. But we also have this text on the bottom left-hand corner that allows us to see more of this case study if we want to. Now we created this with with the component library, of course. Now we can see what we did here is create a mask effect with these two shapes and then just have that image be in the background of that mask. Now next up is this section here that has large text that's broken up with different images. Now this can be done in many different styles and here we have an example where we create this H1 breaking it up with different images and now this is of course done in Figma but in Webflow and Framer it can also obviously be done. Now we have this subtext here that allows you to see more open positions but this is great because it allows you to see who you might be working with without having to have a massive gallery of people like maybe down here, right? Now, another unconventional way of having a hero header might be instead of having your typical text at left and right with equal parts, might be having two thirds of the page be covered by your image and then the one third be covered by a bigger piece of text with a primary and secondary button. Now, this is one thing that I think we might see more of in the coming years with more unique layouts and 3D and stuff is having the image be a bigger piece of the pie. Now, this could also be done in the opposite way. So we have a smaller image and a larger text and this just conveys different messages. What's more important here, the image or the text? In this case, it's gonna be the text. But again, if we flip it up, it might be the image. So of course, this is using auto layout and we wouldn't be able to do this without it. But being able to, to kind of have that control with these big buttons, these big texts, really makes you feel like there's something really important with, with the text that you should be paying attention to. Next up is one of my favorite sections. And I saw this recently on a site, but the entire section, if you wanna imagine it like this, was the entire button here. So 
After going through all the different things on the site, I got to this section and the entire contact was a massive button. And I think that's where we're gonna start to see more and I recreated this using this very simple display button here. But how amazing is that? Just having a massive button that you can't escape. If you wanna get in touch, you click it and this will take you to a contact form or some sort of email. But having this big, big button makes it very obvious that your personality is big, that you want people to get in touch with you and that's just the best way to do it right there. Now, another very powerful section that is maybe not that unique, but I I think works extremely well still is going to be this center text with images on the background. Now, we recently did this for my brother's SAS where we created this hero header using some tablet components in Webflow, but this kind of section has images on the back. So we have this grid here. We have a tagline in the top of the image. We have some text and then an email capture form. So we can see that this is very, very similar to what the base layer would be looking like. And we can see our example here that we use for inspiration where we have these grid lines, some very simple button, very, very easy to understand CTA and our H1 is also super simple. And that's what we tried to replicate here with this beginner friendly affordable SEO tool. So the last section here is going to be something that I created and I've blurred the content itself because I want us to focus on the layout here. I don't want to feel like I'm being too salesy, but the section itself I think is really cool. So we have the H1 here which is more of in the middle, but it because there isn't a big image, it feels like it's further down on the page. We have our H2, which is take it for a spin. And now this could be a better H2, but because I get most of the leads for this through YouTube, it's not necessarily that big of a deal for me. But either way, the rest of this content is below the fold. So that allows people to be intrigued and want to scroll past the fold. But then here, I also decided to not add what usually would be these images up here. Now, let me show you guys what the actual content is. So we're not just looking up some blurred images here, but here we have the logos themselves. And I think that's pretty cool because it brings in the user to, to really see that this is the powerful thing, right? It's being used by other people. And then the image of the product can be found if you scroll further. And if you're interested, then you take a look. So yeah, something really cool. And this has been 19 different sections. And this is for an upcoming video that I don't want to show you guys just yet. But this has been 19 sections that I think are really powerful that you guys can use on all your projects. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most impactful ones. I'll talk about it on a further video why, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys have any questions about any of the sections that I talked about, or if you think there's anything else I need to cover, let me know in the comments down below. I reply to every single comment. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.